Welcome again to Throwback Thursday. Today is uh, Talk Like a Pirate Day here in the workshop um, because we're going to talk about our giant pirate ship which we made a few years back. Now the cool thing about this pirate ship is of course we've given it our cutaway treatment so you can see straight down the middle and see all the action that's happening in our giant pirate ship. So here we have old Captain Redbeard. He's, uh, he's in charge of the ship and uh, he run, uh, rules the place with an iron fist or in this case an iron cutlass and makes sure that this pirate ship is ship shaped so to speak. And if you look on board, we've managed to get all the classic bits of pirate pieces in there. But a lot of people don't know is, of course, what do pirates do on their day off? And so we've managed to cover that on our pirate ship. So you can see that they go 10 pin bowling, for example's sake. They love a bit of torture with some prisoners that they've got locked away. All sorts of action like that. They get to have beautiful feasts from all the ships that they've plundered over time and that kind of stuff. The model itself is actually uh, relatively difficult to build because it's got some crazy curves in it. If you look at a, a pair front on, for example's sake, the ship kind of has that shape to it. It's got a, quite a bulb in it. And also being cutaway means that uh, I had to do things like ballast at the bottom and things like that. Now the really cool thing about the ballast at the bottom is it's a technique which I invented for this pirate ship. Um, basically where I keep stuffing Lego bricks in until they're really tight and it gives that impression of rocks and bits and pieces and of course a poor guy who managed to be building the ship managed to get stuck in there at the time so he's a bit of a skeleton stuck in there too. But that technique we've actually used in quite a few models since then. Uh, Himaji Castle is a great example of where I've taken that technique and, and put it into that. Uh, it's part of our Brickman experience which is touring around um, and it's one of my favourite models. It was made for Brickvention back in I think 2014 maybe. I'll have to um, remember my dates or thereabouts but um, yeah it's a it's a great model and uh, we had a lot of fun making it.